Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Lizard Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation and in the case of this Lizard, it's a walk cycle. Let me show you that from multiple angles. And just so you know, I've animated this uh, walk cycle in uh, on 30 FPS and not on 24 because I wanted uh, the Lizard rig and its animations to be game engine compatible. So that's why I did that. Cool, let's get back to the main features uh, of the rig. And first of all, uh, the main purpose of the rig is, is to, add, to act as a, a template rig that you can use to rig your own 3D models. So if you have any type of creature uh, model with a similar anatomy to that of a lizard, you will be able uh, to, to rig that model using this template rig. Cool. Uh, the rig also comes with this block mesh and uh, that's there to act as a visual guide for the placement of the bones of this rig within your own 3D model. But if you have no use for it, you can simply delete it. There's no harm in that. Um, it's just there, uh, it's just something I've added to be uh, helpful when trying to place the bones of this rig within your own 3D model. Okay, so let's uh, turn the rig uh, back on and have a look at the main controls of the rig. First of all, we have this position controller, which lets you position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller, which lets you animate a trajectory for the rig. We have this root mass controller, which controls the, uh, both the upper and lower body of the rig. We have this root controller, which only controls the lower body. So you can use that to animate a hip sway, for example. We have this tail master controller, which lets you animate all the tail bones at once. So that's nice. Um, the same thing principle with this spine master controller, which lets you control all the spine bones at once and again the same thing with this neck mask controller it lets you animate all the neck bones at once so that's nice um, and then we have this head controller and if i open up the tool tab we can see that it comes with this headlock and when i toggle that or wait no let, let me just first keep it keep it on its default and show you what it does um, so i've selected the neck control and i and when I move it around, you can see that the orientation of the head follows. But when I now toggle the headlock, I do the same thing again. You can now see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward. So that's uh, that's nice. Uh, okay, so let's uh, put the headlock back in its original value. Um, and then have a look at, uh, at the legs. Uh, so uh, by default, the legs are in ik mode but we can easily switch that to fk uh, let's switch back to ik cool um and have a look at for example the other stretch feature so let's turn that on and what it does is when i move the leg beyond its limit you can see that the leg gets stretched so uh, that gives for some nice cartoony animation let's turn other stretch back off again Tie twist is there to correct some deformation in that part of the leg. Um, we have knee pinning, so here's the knee. And when I move the leg right now, you can see the knee follows. But when I turn on knee pinning, you can see that now the, the knee stays put. So that's what uh, knee pinning does. Uh, then we have some foot controls. So here we have the foot controller, so that's cool. And we have this foot roll control. And when you move that up and down, you can animate a foot roll. And when you move it side to side, you can animate some banking motion for the foot. A pretty cool controller. I like the, to use it in my animations. Uh, yeah. I think I've touched upon all the main features of the Lizard Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help, uh, but thank you for watching.